Did I accidentally get rid of a function here? And we're going to get the cache geometry and the cached and the cached pointer event. See, is there a mouse, a mouse move? So let's go to that scene, scene viewport.cpp, and do on mouse move. It's going to call mouse move on us. No. Ah, Visual Studio just sucks for looking stuff up. Especially after they updated to 4.16. Mouse move, and we've got this. Who's that? Report client. So we got mouse leave, mouse move, and all that. So this will be on mouse move. See, it's on mouse move, and it takes geometry and a mouse event. So, cache pointer event should do it. So, that should get us our mouse event stuff there, but our input key stuff is going to be another issue so why don't we just go take a look at um, on mouse yeah on mouse wheel what is it calling it's going to call input key input key <laughs> And then input axis. Holy shit. Look at that crap. Like, this is how hacked the, the Unreal input is here. So for the mouse wheel, it's actually calling... It's calling pressed, then it's calling released, then it's calling the axis. So... Like, ah. So actually, it's going to be like the input axis. So for our...
So we're going to see if um, key equals mouse wheel axis, then we need to process this on mouse wheel thing. So it's going to be like get the HUD if the HUD doesn't equal null pointer. Then it's going to be HUD on mouse wheel, and that's going to take the get cached. Get cached geometry, and then get cached pointer event. Because that scene viewport is caching that for us. Alright, so we got on mouse move is gonna call mouse move. Bonus, which is good. Do we have mouse move set up? Yeah, we've got that set up. Um, mouse enter and leave. Alright, so on mouse button up is actually going to call So input axis should be this. We're not going to do anything else with input axis. So we'll probably do that later. All right. So we need to know if this was a mouse key or not. Yeah. So if it's a mouse key, then So there's a question of how exactly should I determine if this is a mouse button? I think we need an actual, actual thing here for this. So it should be like if get game viewport is mouse event. Otherwise, yeah. So let's uh, let's do this. Um, we need to go to scene viewport .cpp and uh, scene viewport .h and make a boolean here. And I hate that we have to do this, but it's basically like.
but there's this shim layer basically slate is slate's pretty nasty in how it's been injected into the engine so it it's like unpacking the slate events which are actually nicely organized and it's unpacking them into a whole bunch of garbage that we don't want. So start from the top of the file and just go down. Process accumulated. Uh, draw viewport. Foreground cursor query. This mouse event is true. Map cursor. Mouse button down. True. Um, acquire focus and capture. On mouse button up. On mouse enter, on mouse move, on mouse wheel, click, touch started. I think that's a mouse event. Touch, touch, gesture, motion detected. We're not going to do much with that. On key down, we're going to say it's not a mouse event. On key up is not a mouse event. Analog value changed. And that's going to call input axis. On this, this is not a mouse event. Focus received, not a mouse event. Focus lost, it's not a mouse event. It's just so much garbage slapped into this class. It's just one gigantic shim. It should be called <laughs> scene shim. So if we've got So let's see Uh, there's a lot of nasty stuff in this class. What did, where is apply modifier keys used on mouse button down? Ugh. It works. What works? Oh, your your new computer. Amazing. Well, good job. Did you build a new computer or did you buy one or How did you acquire said piece of hardware? Thank you. 
Oh man, these are just awful. Look at all this garbage. Building it? Yeah, nothing's quite as as good as when you build a PC from scratch and you hit the power button and it just boots. You're like, ah, oh, I didn't screw up setting any of the little little knickknacks. It just kind of I did it right. Alright, so for mouse button down, it's either going to be, it's going to be IE pressed. And for, where is mouse button? Mouse button up is IE released. Because I built, I built my computer, and it's got like all sorts of junk in it, and you know you have to hook up all the fans, and hook up all the lights in the case, and all that sort of crazy shit. Plug absolutely everything in. Do the dance with making sure the thing doesn't explode. And when you finally boot it up and it works, you're just like yes. Because you spend, you know, like how many hours hooking everything up and unpacking and unboxing and, you know, with like a tiny little screwdriver and flashlights and everything. And then it finally works. It's just the CPU motherboard and fan. <laughs> so it's just like unpacked on your desk or something. That's that's pretty awesome. Well, theoretically, um, th that should finish off our bridge to our UI. So we proxied our mouse buttons, we proxied our keys up and down, 
we proxied our mouse wheel um, and our characters and all that stuff so I mean theoretically Yeah, that nothing's worse than doing like a whole bunch of doing a whole bunch of work and um, you know having none of it none of it come to anything because you have to undo all the all the nice cable management. just because you accidentally plugged something in. Now uh, the other thing that you don't want to do is <laughs> be messing with it while it's on. I, I Back when I was a teenager I was putting together a computer and I was always just so damn impatient so I would actually just operate on the computer while it was on. So <laughs> one time I plugged in a hard drive backwards <laughs> it just blew up the hard drive <laughs> it was it was one of the funniest damn things ever basically like i plugged it in and it was a hard drive that i didn't need but um <laughs> i just plugged it in and just and i was like well i'm not really sure what i was expecting here <laughs> you know, it's one of those where you're like yeah i'm dumb you know, this thing isn't going to work. You know, you plug it in the right way, and it's just like, yeah, it's completely destroyed. Like, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Guess, um, guess I'm going to have to go buy another hard drive. But the cool thing was, that was back in the days where buying, like, a support plan on something was actually a good idea. Um, that was, like, CompUSA. Actually had, like, a no questions asked. You can replace whatever the hell is broken for a flat... For, for no fee at all. And um, so I just went in and just got a new one. <laughs> They're like, oh, what happened? I was like, oh, it just doesn't work. And, you know, nowadays they'd be like, well, what'd you do? I'd be like, well, you know, it doesn't work. And they'd be like, all right, well, let's just run through the tester. Oh, uh, yeah, it shows here that um, you fucking <laughs> plugged this thing in wrong and shorted it out or whatever. We're not replacing this crap. It wasn't a device failure. Or, here's your $20 restocking fee, or whatever the hell they, they would do. That's probably why CompUSA went out of business. Just crap like that. Because there was no questions asked, right? So, like, you could just go take in something else that was totally fucking broken. And just be like, yeah, this is what I bought. And they would have to replace it for free. <laughs> Uh, it's just so freaking awful that just that we're basically proxying Slate through the existing viewport system that <laughs> we're basically like it's a giant workaround because the implementation of Slate was never like 100% integrated with the engine and probably never will be just by the scope and magnitude of of said thing. If only they had just given us WebKit. <laughs> if 
But that's also a, a thing that happens is, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff in there that's correct. Like, oh, well, you clicked on this thing, so this thing's no longer getting updates and all that sort of stuff. It's like, well, uh, eh. I don't want this to work like the Windows operating system or something. I want it to work like a game. But, whatever. That's why I'm not making engines. That's why I'm making games. And, as you can see, our... Our stuff is, uh... Working right, so I can just like pop the screen, create the screen, I can move the, if you see there's a little red indicator moving around, I'm actually moving a thing in the UI. And I'm clicking on stuff, and I can click on all the things. I can right click, and um, that works. Let's see, can I type into stuff? Why don't we um, Why don't we check that real quick? Uh, so the cool thing about this UI basically is that I can do whatever the hell I want with it since it's WebKit. So I can just pop open this this UI stuff and go to my index HTML and I can add a new button and just do button on click equals uh, window dot location equals I can just dig go to Google and um, window.location equals uh, HTTP Google.com HTTPS, of course, because, you know, I'm a server engineer, you should go to the secure Google site. I don't even have to do jack to, like, rerun this, just, there it is, go to Google, and then it's in Google, so I can type all the stuff in. It looks like the message pump isn't working. Like, I can't just hold down backspace? Why is that? Yeah, it's not doing what I would have expected here with this thing. The um, I would expect this character to keep firing every so often. You know, like like normally something does. Oh, let's let's make sure a few things work properly. Go to my channel on YouTube. And videos work and all that.
Yeah, what am I missing options? I can't play HD videos on YouTube with this crap. Let's see why it's missing. Recommend upgrading your browser operating system for the best viewing experience. Let's see. Chromium embedded framework, um, high quality video. I like how the first thing is consider legal issues. So Chromium embedded framework. Let's see, is there a specific way to know if um Copied the debug info from the video. So let's see. Hmm. I am wondering if there's a nice way to reproduce this because I know this supports a lot of um, quality options, but um, I can't go back. I can go back. Well, let's see if this char code, um, this input char thing is firing as much as we might think. So info log, input char firing 4% deep. Okay. So let's see if we're actually firing off our backspace characters and if there's something we can do about replaying it um, because we, the other thing we can do is we can we can just set up our own little repeat system if we need to kind of shim it in there An input char firing for eight. So it is firing this input char over and over and over again. Well, 
let's see then. So we're getting the game viewport, we're getting the scene viewport, window pointer, character event. So we are getting it, but is it actually doing anything with it is the question. Oh, that's interesting. The backspace key is not repeating, but the other keys are. And that's all input char firing stuff. Let's see if there's like online notepad. Yeah, it's the same thing. We're um it's not repeating the uh the backspace, it's only doing it once. So the question is, is the character wrong? So let's see, the key event has got There's gotta be like CEF browser window. Oh we are here. Internal CEF get send key event. Why don't we just um, see if this is because of us or if it's because of something else?
let's just say for our Windows and a little pointer. And if we go to our web browser viewport, if we just do all this stuff and um, switch it back to what it was, we'll see if it still has the same behavior. So we'll know if it's something that we did or if it's something that something they did. And then we can actually like just look at the event and see what the hell's different about it and then maybe put it in there to fix it. Because obviously we're getting the events firing, but like the backspace key is not backspacing repeatedly, which is just silly. It's like, okay, what? Alright, so it is something that we have done. So let's see exactly what it's uh, it's angry about. Like it's definitely going to be this key char event. And it's, so let's see, what type of modifiers have we got on here? It's key event. Zero modifiable focus on editable field. Key event. Type is key event char three. All right. And the native code is eight. Well, that's what it was before. This is annoying to actually uh, debug. Why does it have to be the fucking backspace button?
Alright, so this in character event again is B8. It's um, repeat is true. Windows key code is 8. Again, it's a key thing. Modifiers are 0. So let's see, if it's something we did, maybe it has to do with the Ah oh, man, this is so annoying, this fucking UI. So this key down stuff is okay. So it's it's that our key down events are not getting um, like these are input chars that are firing for these things. But the um, the thing is, our key down events are not getting repeated. Is what it looks like. So the char down doesn't matter. The key down does. I want to check something real quick for if this is a pop-up window or not. His pop-up is false. All right, cool. Alright, so if it's key pressed, so there's probably another thing here, and it's going to be or event type is repeat, I believe. Let's look at the declaration of even in input type. And of course, it's easier just to Google the goddamn thing. All right, here it is. It is repeat. All right. So that's probably why we are having problems with our backspace key. We need the repeat on it.
well, let's see. It should should be doing what it should be here now. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So uh, we want to go figure out why it's going to be like see if um, chromium embedded cannot view high quality videos. I mean, what was the specific stuff? Like, if I went to YouTube, I went to went to my channel. Well, let's take a look at um, the actual video. Is there anything in here that we can actually
Let's take a look. Um, it looks like... It, I'm looking at the debug info. And... I was just thinking that we're in Safari. So maybe if I upgrade the Chromium Embedded Framework version, so I think it's like source, like third party, is there CF3, and then build on, um, build on Windows, and it's like 3.26, let's see. Well, we've got the the binaries and everything for VS twenty fifteen. And that's off of Chrome forty nine. Let's see what version CF three is at the moment. 